Here we go, folks. This will be the last time I use this character for your tub. Oh good, Rathian's not here. That was about the dumbest thing it could have done. It's hard to believe that one of those eats insects and the other one eats cacti. I find that increasingly difficult to believe. Ah, you cheaty little fucker. Note to self, Diablos is immune to being, uh... Fucker!
Oh no. I hate that's how the Diabolus travels. Come on. There we go. All I want's a little piece of tail. Thank you for being cooperative. Actually, what I'll do is I'll split up this episode and the last episode. And then for episode... 15 will be the debut of my other character.
I'm gonna faint. Yeah. Please fucking drop. Although in this episode I will give a sneak peek of my um, of the character I will be switching to. I don't know if I'll be able to show off all my um, gadget proficiencies and my relationship with all the Palicos up to this point. But, um, it'll make sense. You have ascended to the apex and proved yourself. Now you may know the secret of the dragon that carries a mountain of fire on its back. The dragon hovers on the brink of death, but the light of life is calling to it, drawing it away from its proper grave. It has wandered into the Everstream and lost its way. Now it stands poised to perish there, brimming with fiery life-bringing energy. The Everstream connects every corner of this land like the veins of a beating heart. 
Should the dragon suck him to death there, its glut of energy will hurtle through those veins. Seeing, setting them afire and searing the land to ash and scorched earth. That is the dragon's secret. That shall be the land's fate. Nature's course cannot be swayed. Everyone, please, quiet down. Let's review our current situation. Screwed! Thanks to the Fifth Fleet's diligent efforts, we've learned a number of things. One, that Zora Magdros is heading for the Everstream. Two, that upon its death, it'll release the bioenergy it has stored. And three, that the Everstream is connected to every corner of the New World. So, if Zora dies inside the Everstream, its bioenergy will blast us all to hell. Commander, the Commission should make evacuation its first priority. I'll tell my sister to prepare her airship. There's no time. We don't have any choice but to take down Zora Magdaros. What? Blowing ourselves to oblivion is not what we're trying to do. Correct. And the whole reason we're here is to study the beast's role in the ecosystem. Not erase it from the ecosystem altogether. Um, I think I might have an alternative. What if we tried to lure it away from the Everstream somehow? Lure it away? Yes, sir. I did a little digging, and the Everstream borders the ocean, right? So if we can lure Zora Magdaros out onto the open water... We can mitigate the blast. And the bioenergy released would start a whole new ecosystem in the ocean. Life would go on. Need I remind you, sir, that we're currently short on supplies from our attempt to capture it. And even if we had enough supplies, what kind of weapon could get that thing to change its course? Don't worry. I have a plan. A very big plan. Is that what I think it is? Ho oh, ho! Now we're talking! It is a ship. Captain, you sure took your sweet time getting here. But we're happy you made it. Happy to be here. I brought everything you'll need. Ballista, cannon rounds, and a literal boatload of supplies. I know who that is. Not to mention a little surprise. The guild supplied us with one hell of a ship. She's armed with the latest anti-elder dragon weapon, a Dragonator. Excellent. Just the weapon we need to drive Zora Magdaros out to sea. Am I right? It's time. Complete your preparations with speed and make your way to the Everstream. I'll explain the details on site. We can do this. We must do this. <laughs> if I'm right about this, I can tell you to get your sea voice. Now, get Captain. Moving. Time to see Zora Magdaros off. All of us. Okay, give me one second there. Because I'm almost positive they're the same. They have the same voice actor. Holy shit, he's done a lot. Um, while I'm looking this up. I will go ahead and show you my other character. Ling Tong. I never knew that. Ah, crap. I did something stupid. 
Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. We're down to 2012. Yep. He, the voice actor for the captain of that ship, who brought the ship back to us, is the voice actor for Jiraiya from Naruto and Kenpachi Zaraki of Bleach. I was right. I didn't remember I I didn't remember Jiraiya having the same voice actor, but I knew that was Kimpachi. Yay, OBS linked back up. This is fine. Ooh, Mortal Kombat 9. Ooh, Cabal, really? Something I did not know. There we go. So this is the character I will be playing. And I will show you the reason why. What else has he done? <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of fascinated by this now. Uh, except a colossal task. Yep. So this is why I picked why I'm going to be moving forward with this character. Let me go up here. First off, I've done all the side missions that I can. And I'm pretty sure you can kind of tell where I am with the weapons. I mean, my armor set should kind of tell you like all the stuff that I've done with this character. Um, like even when it comes to the different kinsects. Like this character is pretty badass for compared to my other one at least i have managed to craft almost every item that i can at this well not you know what, no not even almost um i have managed to craft all the great swords that I can up to this point. These I can't do. Like, yeah. I think I'm. Have I done dual blades yet? I think I'm on dual blades. Oh, and I also need to do that one. That's the last one of sword and board I need to do. And then I got my dual blades that I can do. Odegaron is a thing. I don't like doing Odegaron. But, I mean, I have worked my way way up to doing the different, um, I'm not a fan of doing the different, um, weapons. And as far as armor goes, <laughs> I have everything except for the Orion suit. And the Gala suit. 
But other than that, I have every piece of armor. That was fun to farm for. This is also my favorite, by the way, as far as looks go. And it has the same amount of defense as Diabolus armor. Which I might actually use that one, in all honesty. The reason that I use the Kirin armor is for Capture Master. But doing this fight, I might just... Go with this. Because honestly, I really don't care about the skills too much at this point. I just put out a piece ton of damage. So, and it's like, with charms, I've got quite a few of the charms as well. So it's just like, I've been collecting a lot and getting through all that. Um, my kinsects are almost at a point where the one that I always use is up to as far as I can get right now. And the rest of them, I just need monster bones. Oh, and that one needs an engine, I think. NCT Yakupa. Okay, so there are a couple that I could still kind of grind for, but realistically, that's the one that I always use because of its speed and it has heal. So that's real damn useful to me right now. But that being said, oh yeah, I also forgot one last thing. Because I shut off my armor. Don't have the star set. Or the snow set. Huh. <laughs> it's so adorable. Which, those two are out of season. But... I also need these, because also this is just fucking adorable. I don't care what anyone says. Other than those three sets, like, I have every set. And I am proud of my Umi Kitty. It is my baby. But I mean, Every set. So. Like I said, this is the character that I have put a lot of work into. In fact, don't hit quit game this time. Don't really need to save my progress either. If I'm not mistaken, I can actually show the amount of time played. Yeah, almost over five times the amount of time. So, as you can clearly see, I put a lot more work into farming on this character than the other. I have no clue why, just how it kind of happened. But, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you when I take down Zora Magdaros for the second time. Bye!